Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com here again. Um, today I'd like to talk about setting some defaults inside of Fusion Cam and what the different defaults mean. So I have a couple parts on the screen and we'll just start by going through. So let's start out with a 2D adaptive. So I'm gonna choose 2D adaptive clearing. We'll go grab a tool and the tool that I would like to use is a half inch flat. So we'll grab that, grab our geometry. I'm gonna select that ring right there and I'm gonna to go to the heights. And for the heights, I'm gonna to go to this bottom offset and I'm gonna say minus 0 0.02 here for, for, a, for I, want to, I want the cutter to go past the bottom of the part. I'm not gonna make that a default or anything though. We're just, just notice that I did that for this particular file. I'm gonna to go to the passes tab and on the passes tab, one of the things that I want to do here is I wanna change my optimal load. So I'm gonna right click and now you can see the different things that we can make for defaults. And the first one we're gonna talk about is to edit an expression. So I'm gonna edit the expression, and right now, the step over that this tool is taking at the most is tool diameter times 40%. I wanna make that smaller. I wanna make that tool diameter times uh, 20%. And now when I click OK, that value will now change to 0.1. If I made a change to that, and I didn't want that to stick, I could always right click and say reset to built in default. And when I do that, what happens is whatever the software was configured when it was installed, that's the value that it goes back to. So if I right click and go back and edit that expression one more time, you can see now it's reverted back to 0.4. I'll say 0.2. I'll click OK. And this time I'm going to right click and I'm going to say make default. When I make that the default, the next time I do an adaptive operation, a 2D adaptive operation in this file or another file, that's the value that I'm going to get. So let's go ahead and click OK. And you can see there's our adaptive operation. So now I can go over to this part. It has kind of a similar feature that we can do. And I'll say 2D adaptive clearing. Same. I'm going to grab that same tool, so a half inch flat right there. Move over to the geometry. Select that ring, and now on the Passes tab, if I edit the expression, you can see it's tool diameter times 0.2. So making that the default uh, uh, set that up for us. So let's go look at a different example here. Let's go back to the first one, and this time let's do a 2D contour. So I'm going to select 2D contour. I'm going to use that same half inch flat. So we're going to go select geometry. I'm going to grab that piece of geometry, and again on the heights, tab, I want to go 20 thousandths minus 0 0.02. Uh, we're going to go 20 thousandths past. And then on the passes tab, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to come down to the finish overlap. I'm going to type in 0 0.05. This is where the cutter leads in and leads out and how it extends past. But this time I'm going to right click and I'm going to say make all default. Now notice I didn't set any default for that for the, uh, for the cutting height, the bottom height, where it went 20 thousandths of an inch past. I'm gonna say make all default here, and go ahead and click OK. And it goes through and it does it. Now let's go over to this part and do a 2D contour. Select a tool, grab the half inch flat. For the geometry, I'm gonna select this as my ring. Now if I go to my heights tab, notice that negative 0.02 is the default value even though we didn't set it to make all default. I'm sorry, even though we didn't set it as a default, we, when we made it all default, it was made default as part of that process. If I go to the passes tab, you can see our finishing overlap is set. So um, if I went back and I changed this to be minus 0.08 deep, and I went, mm, you know, I don't know if I like that. If I right click, there's another one. There. So, so we've covered a reset to built in default. We've covered make default and make all default. What does reset to default mean? If I've set something else to a default, it'll turn it back to that. So if I were to go ahead and say reset to default, now it sets it back to that negative 0.02. And if I were to right click on here and say reset to built in default, it'll reset it back to zero. However, in this case, the next time I do an operation, it's going to re re revert back to the default that I set of minus 0.02.
So I hope that it helps to explain the difference between the different defaults, between reset to built-in default, reset to default, make default, and make all default, as well as you saw a little bit of how to edit an expression. So thanks for watching.